Hello everybody, man, it's Raw here. Welcome to the weekly update video for OSRS. Now this week we have four Street Tweaks, Security, and more. And as I mentioned in my RS3 video, uh, I took a week off due to some other issues. So I do apologize for there being no videos last week uh, for the news, but I digress. You know, there was reasons I needed to get uh, some certain stuff taken care of. But we are back and we're going to be getting into this and first up we have a change log for November 1st so this is going to be covering most of the stuff in the forestry tweak security and more. So the forestry tweaks a new addition which is hot picks at 1540. Uh, building a beehive in your player in house no longer provides construction XP to prevent players from freely training construction via unintended means. So they like to cold fix to resolve this issue in a different way in the near future. And another new addition is chance to spawn the Forgery events now correctly caps at 10 players, as opposed to practically guaranteeing a new chance on every roll in Mass Worlds. The bonuses from Felling Axes and the Forgery Lumberjack outfit now stack correctly. Crafted Padded Spoons now gives reduced XP, and the XP given is Crafting XP instead of Mining XP. Budding Beekeepers will now be able to build a beehive into player own house, using sturdy beehive parts obtained from the beehive event. Foxes and poachers now only spawn outdoors to prevent griefing. Fix a typo in the skills interface. The description of the twitcher's gloves now explains uh, that they're used on every tree cut. Uh, Remove mentions of tea brewing. Forestry or oh, foresters campfires can no longer be created without using logs. And there is a Jagged's account benefits. So Jagged's account holders are not eligible to claim fancier boots from the security of Stronghold. Count check, a new random event has been enabled and he'll pop up occasionally and offer an XP lamp to players who are using the Jagged's account. So a little bit more XP for you guys. Other changes, players with over 300 quest points will unlock a new Slayer block slot. Uh, planks from the slow mill can now be placed in the Plank Sack automatically. Angler and Spirit Angler outfits have had their value increased to reduce the odds of players accidentally dropping them. Certain random event P NPCs may now follow players into the bank. Uh, Dromon's Cat no longer requires you to wear a Cat Speak Amulet for dialogue once you press or pass the required part of Dragon Slayer 2. And Follow the Bard will now recognize the barrel chest uh, Anchor BH if he asks you to bring him a barrel chest anchor. And there should be here some information. Uh, I should actually mention this too. Uh, the Trailblazer Reloaded is launching November 15th, so that is just next week. Uh, I will say this I will be playing uh, the Trailblazer Reloaded, and I will be having videos on a regular basis showing my progress and kind of having fun with it. And I can't wait until certain things take place and I will actually be able to stream uh, stuff like this. So I do plan on doing that and I am getting more and more into OSRS. So there, expect more content for OSRS in the future. <clears throat> so uh, let's see, there is a merch update, so we do have, so the angel escapes, as you can see, there's a key ring and a few pins, as well as an interesting new hat. And here is the PvP Rota, which has moved to period A, so 539 US PvP, 318 UK Bounty Hunter, 548 Germany High Risk PvP, 577 US Free to Play PvP, 559 UK LMS Competitive, and World 390 AUS for LMS Competitive as well as 569 AUS for Bounty Hunter have been activated for this Rota. The PvP Arena is using the max slash mid loadouts for rank duels and tournaments this week. So that is actually it though for this week guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, later guys.